James Carville's fiery critique of the term republic versus democracy reveals his deep frustration with how these words are often misused or misunderstood. This distinction taps into a larger debate about the nature of American governance and highlights the critical importance of using precise political terminology. So they did this thing and they were interviewing these people and he says, oh, we're not a democracy, we're a republic. We're not a democracy, we're a republic. And so finally the guy says, what is a republic? And of course, there are amps. Let me name a, a, a republic for you. North Korea, okay? Iran is a republic, calls itself a republic. Remember the, the DGR, the German Democratic Republic? And so about all it means, if, to the extent that it, it, other than just people refer to themselves, I, mean, I don't think North Korea is approaching a democracy, of course not, or Iran, or, or, or do you remember the USSR? What was the R in the USSR? All right? So it's, it's, it's colossally stupid. It, it doesn't even account for anything. And it, these people are giant fools. And, and of course, you, you know, in your brief, if you're studying shit in ninth grade, and, or, you know, well, it's, it's a representative democracy, not a disparate democracy. And they'll point to some town in New Hampshire where, you know, the whole town votes on something. But it, it, it just people have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. And they just blather the stupidest shit that you can imagine. And, and, and that is the big talking point. Well, we're, 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 we're a republic. We're not a democracy. What the fuck is a republic? Anybody can call themselves a republic. I, I give the Brits credit. At least they don't try to pretend. Carville underscores the need for a solid grasp of the historical and constitutional foundations of the United States, which is both a republic and a democracy. He passionately advocates for robust civic education, arguing that a well-informed citizenry is crucial for meaningful political engagement. Carville's outburst is more than just a moment of frustration. It is a call to arms for genuine understanding and political discourse. He values sincere participation in political life, insisting that citizens must go beyond surface-level slogans to truly grasp the principles that shape their government. His remarks reflect a broader anxiety about the decline of civic knowledge and the oversimplification of complex political concepts, which contribute to the polarization and confusion in today's political landscape. By delving into the public's collective psyche, Carville's passionate rhetoric aims to shed light on how debates over terms like republic and democracy can fuel frustration and division. His vivid language and strong examples are intended to provoke the Wad and inspire people to reconsider their understanding of these crucial political terms. While some may criticize his intense tone, it is clear that Carville's ultimate goal is to foster a deeper, more educational dialogue about the nature of American governance. Through his emotional appeal, he seeks to awaken a sense of urgency and responsibility in the audience, urging them to engage sincerely and knowledgeably in the political process.